Uh, John Haidt, in his book, talks about the righteous mind. That in his Righteous Mind book, he talks about the righteous mind. At one point, he actually says he believes that human beings are programmed not just to be righteous, but to be self-righteous. There is no doubt in my mind that that is the main problem, the reason why we haven't had a pluralistic society. It's not just that people believe that they're right. Everybody believes that they're right. Everybody. If you're an atheist, if you're an agnostic, uh, if, you're, if you're a Christian, if you're a Muslim, you believe you're right. Your take on spiritual reality is right. The real question is, how self-righteous are you? How, uh, how condescending are you? How disdainful are you? That's the question. All I can tell you, those who are here who are Christians, you've got something in the very middle of your Christian faith which ought to destroy self-righteousness and make you, at the very least, agents of pluralism and civility. It's the idea that you are saved by grace alone, not by your good works. I've got a Muslim family on my floor, a Hindu family on my floor, an atheist a couple on my floor. And because I'm a Christian, I know that I'm not saved, I'm not a Christian, I don't have a relationship with God because I'm better, but because of God's grace, because Jesus Christ died for me and I believe in him. It's not because I'm a better person or a smarter person or a more moral person. So when I talk to my Hindu or my Muslim or my atheist neighbors, I have every reason to expect they could be better people than me. I have every reason to believe that their husbands could be better husbands than me. Every reason to believe that. Why? Because my understanding of how Christianity works, how salvation works, is that I have no basis for that kind of superiority. So there really actually is something in the very center of Christianity that ought to make you, make us, those who are Christians, someone who really can be part of making for a pluralistic society.